Okay, I'm back again. Sorry about that. Uh, Pebble pole. Yes, it, I found it was very thick last time, so this time I did dilute it. So I had a little bowl with um, 30, 60 mils of the Pebble pole and 45 mils of water. So that produced this. And if I would have used that other one in its raw state, I'm pretty sure they probably wouldn't have um, blocked. But all this lot would have been, it would have been solid. Okay. Last but not least. Can you see that? I don't know whether you can see the colour of it. Um, it's uh, it's like <laughs> clear, clear seawater. It's uh, very difficult to describe. It's absolutely stunning. And all it is, is sugar water. So it's a cup of sugar to a cup of water. Boiling water I used. A lot of people boil it up on the saucepan, but I couldn't be bothered with that, so I just did one cup of sugar to one cup of um, water, boiling water, and that was the results. This is, of course, what they used to use in the Victorian times when they did an awful lot of this sort of thing. Again, it's a little bit flexible. I think it's quite nice, actually, the feel of that. More flex, uh, more rigid than the golden. No, sorry. More rigid than the Aileen stiffener. But not as rigid as the paper pole. Okay. So that's that. I won't use... Um, sugar water again because I I think it would if there's any heat in the house um, it, it might become sticky I may be wrong it may certainly attract flies which I don't want so although I'm quite pleased with how it turned out I think we've moved on from sugar water and just to give you an idea of, of what I use um, these various stiffness for these are things that I I did quite a long time ago. I made a box. Sorry about the glare. Can you see that? I made a box with a piece of sari beading. That's better, isn't it? Sari beading. So I uh, dipped that. In, I believe it was the powerful pole at the time. Okay, you can see it's absolutely solid. I found these in a charity shop. I didn't crochet these or make them up. In 50p they were. Aren't they nice? Do some something nice with those. They've obviously been stiffened with something. But years ago, when I was really doing an awful lot of altered art, when it used to just come over, really, from the States to the UK. And that was a pair of... Can you see? That was a pair of vintage... Or very Well, more than vintage. It was antique, I would say. By the way... I don't know if I'm right, but I always say vintage is anything over 25 years old. Antique, anything over 100 years old. So that, that's what I, I, that's my guideline. Um, I wish people would say whether it's vintage style or faux vintage. When it's really modern, you know, but it's been made to look vintage rather than saying it's a vintage when it's not at all. It was made yesterday. Anyway, there you go. There's these um, that were obviously very flexible. Uh, I remember at 
doing them with their coffee stain at the time but then I decided I wanted to paint it I just put on a little bit of a I'm on five minutes again ladies and gents I'm sorry I know it's a pain but I won't be long